guys we are going to keep talking about ERGRP and in this video alone we are going to talk about passive interface and what passive interface does well I went to the cisco.com and look and I just searched for passive interface for ERGRP and you can use passive interface command in order to control the advertisement or routing information so it lets you control advertisement the command in enables the suppression of routing updates over some interfaces while it allows updates to be exchanged normally over other interfaces. So it, it means that it only blocks one interface. With most routing protocols, the passive interface command restricts outgoing advertisements only. Okay? But when well, when we use with enhanced interior gateway routing protocol, ERGRP, the effect is slightly different. Okay, so let's go ahead and configure a passive interface to see how it works. So we are going to continue with the same lab that we had on the video before. And if you have not seen my video before, go ahead and see it, which is like an introduction of ERGRP. So let's go ahead to router, router one. Configure terminal. Let's go to router EIRP 100. Okay. Because we have configured um, the networks on EIRP 100. This network uses EIRP 100, this one, and also this one. So they all use EIRP 100. And we have added those networks this one, that one, and also this one over here. So what we want to do is go ahead and show you how passive interface does or how it works. So what it does is it blocks um, ERGRP from sending um, ERGRP message. So if we go ahead and do a passive interface and add a gigabit interface and the one that we going to add is this one zero slash zero. Okay, so when we do that, what is going to happen is that we are going to lose this neighbor right here and we are not going to have communication. Um, and there it is. Now you can see that the um, ERGRP 100 neighbor 10.1.1.2 is down because the holding time expired. Okay, so after a certain time, if the router does not receive a hello packet, an, a hello ERGRP packet from router 2, um, it's going to go down. And as you can see, since we did passive interface gigabit 0 slash 0, which is this one right here, it did not send a hello package to keep that network, that ERGRP network, network going. Now it is down. And if we go to N, show IP. ERGRP neighbor we're going to see that we do not have any network so let's go back your router ERGRP 100 and from here what we could do this one and let's say no and now you can see that mm, that network now the ERGRP relationship went up because we negated this passive interface so we said like oh um, I disabled the passive interface so I said okay you can now go ahead and send a packet to router 2 so if we go in now we should be able to see we should be able to see now that we are indeed a we are that we have a neighbor which is router 2 now and we should be able to ping anybody let's ping router router 4 and there it is now we are able to ping router 4 but if we configure that no passive interface we won't be able to ping that network so let's go ahead and do that so you guys can see I 
passive interface. And we're probably going to be able to ping it. Yeah. So we are able to ping it. So we have to wait for the communication to expire. Here we go. Now that it expired, now we won't be able to ping router 4 because we do not have a relationship with router 2 anymore. And there it is. But if we go ahead and indicate that, router p 100 and let's say no and there it is now we are able to um now we are able to send uh, to ping router four or uh, actually that was router three because this one is that um three that two and this one three that one so we were able to ping router three because we have a relationship between router one and router two, because we say we told him to disable the passive interface, and actually, this passive interface, what it, it is good for whenever you have a, let's say a switch right here, right, and you want to restrict ERGRP since the switch is not running ERGRP. So why send ERGRP packets if you um, if this switch does not need it, you only need it between routers. So what you could do is enable those passive interface um, between devices that are now using ERGRP. So what I could do right here, let's go and cable this bad boy in. Now what we could do here, config terminal, right, and let's go to router ERGRP 100, passive interface, make this bigger, gigabit 0 slash 1, okay, so now we, we told ERGRP to not send ERGRP packets to this interface right here because this switch is not running ERGRP, so by doing this, you are restricting ERGRP packets to be sent over this interface because the switch is not going to do anything with that because that switch is not running ERGRP since ERGRP is also a layer three and switches are layer two. And when you restrict that, what you do is you get less traffic. So you have a lot more bandwidth to work with and that switch is going to work a lot better um, when it's not getting all that all that traffic from ERGRP packets being sent to that switch. Okay, guys. So this is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.